came to Alamogordo, New Mexico for him to do some work. I took my camera and cruised around Alamogordo, made my first ever vlog, had some nananigans around town. Check it out. Hey y'all, it's Nana. I'm in Alamogordo. Pops went to work and I am just roaming around the city. Uh, the hotel clerk told me that the Z Trans, which is the Alamogordo bus, waits right out here in front of Taco Bell. So I went out on the curb and sat at the what I thought was a bus stop, the bench, and sat there for about 30 minutes and called and watched the bus schedule, saw a purple bus drive by, and he turned at Taco Bell and kept going. So I waited and waited. The next supposed stop came and went and nothing happened. So I finally got hold of somebody and she goes, oh, you have to stand behind Taco Bell, not sit on the bus benches. That does not mean you need a ride. So I'm about to take the long route if the bus comes back. Out here enjoying the sun it's probably about 85 degrees clear blue sky the mountains it's beautiful clean city or at least the part i'm in all right y'all bus picked me up and had to bring me and drop me off at the visitor center at the hallman air force base i can't go on base because i don't have uh rights to be on the base it's a military base so she left me in a shaded cabana said to be out in about 10 minutes and the fun thing is, you can't hear it or see it now, but the sounds of freedom to me is our military. We had fighter jets flying over, as you can see, it's just clear blue skies. The jets were flying over. Anyway, she's gonna be back in 10 minutes and I'm gonna basically continue to tour Alamogordo because I'm on the long train or bus back to Walmart. All right, y'all, rode the bus, dropped me off at Walmart walked through Walmart, got a cold drink, went through the parking lot over there. Let's see, over towards the mountains. I walked over there, got a pedicure, got a manicure, walked back over here to Walmart, got some cooler clothes to wear to play some disc golf tonight with Pops and some of the guys at work, and I'm waiting for the bus at Walmart. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all, I'm still waiting. The bus driver said one time, been out here 30 minutes, no sign of a bus driver. Hmm. Maybe there's a reason. We've got time. I'll keep you posted. All right, y'all, the bus finally came. I waited an hour and 20 minutes. So they told me the previous bus driver told me the wrong time, which if I was on a schedule, that'd be very irritating. It's okay. But as you can see, I got a mask on the bus. Gotta wear the seatbelt. It's normally a dollar, but till July 15th, it's free. Sorry, July 6th. All right, y'all. I got back to the hotel. I freshened up a little. I tried to do something with my crazy hair, but it's crazy with a little humidity. It's super crazy with no humidity. So it is what it is. I'm gonna put a hat on later. I'm gonna go downstairs and try to heat up yesterday's dinner to have a late lunch because we're gonna go play disc golf in a couple hours when Pops gets home from work and he had a big lunch, so he's not gonna want dinner. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a little tour of outside of our hotel room while I'm roaming around. The people here are really super sweet. I don't know how old the hotel is. I'm very disappointed for it being a Marriott from the Fairfield Suites or Fairfield Inn and Suites. I would have thought during the pandemic they would have done these repairs or cleaned better. Maybe it's a lack of ability to get people to come to work because of all that extra Corona money. I'll show you the hotel room tomorrow, but right now I'm gonna go show you out and about around the hotel. Great little goodies in here in the market. Again, it's 2.30, it's a lot of workers. It's empty. Gotta get here early, early bird wins. Out I go. Your breakfast area has lots of outlets and USB chargers, which is great. Back to the outdoor patio. Pool is closed, but there is this awesome place. Go cook out, some nightlight. Again, the slippery, slippery tile. I'm guessing just the dust, because we are in the desert. The dust is full. It causes everything to be slippery. You need a paint job. Must have had a barbecue grill there once upon a time. Let's find a shady spot to eat. That's the chance. Uh, maybe I'll go 
Well, the grout in the brick wall is having some issues. I'm sure it's settling. We all have that at home, right? Let's sit here, there's a beautiful breeze. Sit here on this longhorn pillared settee and have a little snack. Talk to y'all in a bit. Okay, y'all. Nice microwave cabinet, keeps it dark in here. That way Pops doesn't have to darken it. Check this out back here. I mean, how long has it been since that been, has been dusted? Y'all, this is nasty. Nice coffee station, coffee pot, pods. We just got the silverware from, plasticware from downstairs. More craftsmanship issues. The refrigerator, it's awesome, it's in a cabinet. But I don't know what's going on down there. And it's very hot in this cabinet. Very hot in there. There's a return vent, so hopefully that's helping. You can't really see it. Somebody spilled something down the side, coffee or tea, whatever. Look at the grunge on the backer board, baseboard. I don't know what you call that on a coffee station. When they changed out the cabinetry. Something going on there. Just not, not awesome. We have it on 63. I tell you at home, we're from Fort Worth. I wear a sweater and keep it on 80, 85 during the daytime. You could break a sweat in here still. The chair, sad. The dust in this lamp. Let's see if I can turn this lamp on. The lamp is coated in dust down there. Got a pleathery chair. I understand why you would have that. Not comfortable, but you know, it just might be because of the decor. Workstation for pops. Like at home, we all have this where our desks are. It's all scratched up from the chair. Craftsmanship. I mean, that's not hard to do y'all. Those are minor things. Nice closet with a safe and an iron and iron board and a few hangers. Got the nightstand and the lamp. That's nice. King size bed. And like always, Marriott's awesome mattress and pillows. AC unit. It was a very warm night last night. More craftsmanship, dirty issues. Unfortunately for Pops, who needs a dark room to sleep in, we got the light. He said he couldn't sleep all night, even though we darked it out. Used the hangers, closed the blackout curtains. And then, I don't know how, if the clock was bright or not, I uh, covered it with my phone cords. But check this out. Like all the other places, there's dust dust so sad so sad Marriott so sad all right y'all as you can see I got pops with me we he got home from work picked me up we changed our clothes and came and played maybe 18 holes of disc golf with one of the kids he works with we just got a couple of uh caliche this one is a frozen adobe, custard. Frozen custard, adobe mud, and frozen brownie bliss. Brownie bliss. I got a little sunburn today. I didn't oh, realize sure did it when I was out perusing the town. I had a good time. The weather was nice. The weather was nice for disc golf. There was several gusts of wind. It wasn't so bad. We are currently driving towards the Sacramento Mountains, and we see a space museum ahead. So let's go see what that's about. Look at that, y'all. Sunset over Alamogordo. Perfect way to finish the night. All right, y'all. We'll call it a night. About 8.30. Sunset over New Mexico, Alamogordo, New Mexico. Looking at the... New Mexico State University Alamogordo campus. Thanks for watching, following along with me today as I sightsee 
went sightseeing around Alamogordo. Please like, share, subscribe. Check out our other videos. We've got how to, DIY, travel, disc golf, all kinds of fun stuff. See y'all tomorrow. Morning y'all. Nana with livingcooper.com. It's my last day here in Alamogordo. Pops is already gone off to work. I'm out going for a little walk. Just seeing what's exciting today as I explore yet another day. Y'all see that up there? There it is. Some of our brave military flying into the base there over the mountains. Pretty awesome. grateful every day for those that volunteered to serve. All right, y'all. I crossed, walked a couple blocks, and I crossed a six-lane highway. Used the crosswalks and the crossing signs. Got me some Dunkin' Donuts, some big old iced tea. Normally, if I pennies, find pennies or quarters on the ground, but today I found this. I'm sure Pops has the power tool that goes on the other end. A surprise for him today. The things you find in the middle of the road. Anyway, I like Dunkin'. I dislike Starbucks. I dislike what they stand for. Anyway, I'm gonna eat my donut holes, drink my tea, walk back to the hotel. Hey y'all, here I go to the bus stop behind Taco Bell. I'm gonna take the purple bus to the green bus at Walmart to the White Sands Mall. I forgot my sunglasses, both pairs in Pop's truck. And I left my hat in the hotel because I thought I had my glasses in my purse. So, good thing it's not too hot. Hey y'all, I made it on the purple bus to the green bus and now I'm in the sand, the White Sands Mall. It's kind of sad, probably like many malls across America. Hardly anything open. Let me turn around so you can see. Hmm. The space. Hall of